Hey, what's going on YouTube? Going to take a look today at the Xtar EP9. This is a 9mm uh, carbine, 6.5 inch barrel, mostly a uh, polymer gun, you know, with the, the bolt and the barrel being steel. Um, it does come with a an SB Tactical brace. Um, I think this is the SOD brace, something like that. But it is an SB Tactical branded brace, uh, non-adjustable, um, so this sort of stays where it is. You got a uh, Magpul type, it's just a polymer grip, um, decent decent stippling here on here, a little, little more than you would probably need for a 9mm. Um, it does take Glock mags, uh, any Glock mag will work in this, and it does have a last round Hold open, um, polymer handguard up here. You do have rail underneath. Um, this is not my gun. This is a loaner for the to the channel. Um, thanks, Sean and Christina, for the gun. And uh, you do have rail here. They have a flashlight mounted on the bottom, and you got plenty of rail up on top uh, to mount anything you want. Um, he does have a vortex Spitfire up top here. Um, there is no uh, dust cover on the ejection port, and um, it's a pretty cool little uh, 9mm PDW. Um, it is sort of AR styled, where you have your, your fire selector in the same spot, you have your uh, bolt catch and release here, and you do have your magazine release here. So it's, it's sort of styled after AR you know, uh, uh, an AR platform. Um, you do have a non-reciprocating charging handle, side charging handle, um, which is pretty cool. It's uh, charges pretty. It's 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 decently tight pulling that back, but as you're firing, the charging handle is non-reciprocating, so that's pretty cool. And I'm. Um, for, and I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much digging this gun. It's, uh, it seems to be an awesome gun. Um, and for the price point on these things, in the four to $450 range, I don't think you can go wrong. Now, you do have a, um, a pretty large uh, trigger guard here, um, perfect for gloved fingers. And um, it breaks down pretty simple. We'll, we'll 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 break it down quick. Um, you have one. You have one uh, pin here, a takedown pin. You pop that out just as you would a an AR pin. There is no front pin. It's only a rear pin only. You pull that pin out. The pin is captured, and the gun pretty much just comes apart there. You can. Uh, at that point, get your bolt out. The bolt is pretty heavy. I just oiled it. And um, it's a pretty simple takedown. Cleaning seems to be pretty easy for this thing. The takedown is very simple. And to put it back together, you just uh, get that front hook there. And then push that pin back in. You're ready to go. So anyway, let's just get this thing. Uh, we'll, we'll do a little shooting with this thing. Check out the uh, reliability on brass and steel uh, cased ammo. And um, we'll check it out. So let's do some shooting. Okay guys, 
I'm going to try this uh, XTAR EP9 out, uh, running the Walker uh, electronic muffs. Got a KCI 31 round Glock mag. This is a uh, Wolf steel cased 115 grain ammo. Let's see how it runs with the uh, steel case. Well, the uh, red dot is pretty much spot on. And we have a failure to feed on Wolf Steel Case 115 grain. Another failure to feed on Wolf uh, 115 grain steel case. I don't know if it's the magazine And we got a last round bolt hold open uh, on an empty mag. Nothing in the chamber. Next we got a magazine, uh, same KCI magazine, 31 rounds of uh, brass cased Norma, 115 grain. Uh, it's been consistently hitting steel at uh, somewhere about 60 yards, 65 yards. So we'll try this uh, brass cased Norma uh, 115 grain range ammo. And we got a last round bolt hold open on a, an empty mag. No failure to feeds with the uh, brass case. And I do have a 15 round mag. This is a Glock branded mag. Um, there is alternating steel and brass case uh, ammo in this 15 rounds uh, brass steel brass steel brass steel and we've got a brass chambered uh, let's hit some water jugs with this thing let's uh, check out some water jugs
Okay, all in all, um, I think it's a pretty awesome little uh, little nine millimeter uh, carbine. You know, a little PCC pistol carbine, pistol caliber carbine. Um, been hitting all these jugs. Uh, was ringing that steel consistently up at about I think it's about 65 yards up there. And uh, the gun, the XTAR EP9, I'm gonna say, um, is is passing my video test here. Um, there were a little reliability issues uh, feeding with the steel case ammo, but I had no issues with the brass cased ammo. And uh, all in all, for the price point on this gun, I'm gonna say it's uh, it's a pretty decent deal. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys soon. Keep out of trouble. Stay safe. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.